Here we are arriving at the Louise Under the Wire Fly-In. You can see there's a good many cars here. There's our limousine that we came in. A few cubs over here. Planes in the air. And of course, lots of steermen. Here we have what I believe to be a North American T6. It says Navy, Corpus Christi. I may be lying, this may not be a T6 after all. Here we have some planes coming and going on the runway. And you can see that there are a number in the distance, which we'll eventually get over there and check those out too. And we have many, many steermen lined up, and there's probably a waco floating around in here somewhere. Here's a steerman with its cowl off, and you can see all the cylinders. Here comes somebody arriving. Here comes a steerman coming in. Here we are in the common ordinary plane section, I think is what I will call it. There's one right there that has Mickey Mouse on its tail. But there's just rows and rows of planes and planes. There's probably about a hundred planes on the ground at least, maybe a hundred and forty. Here comes one. Here comes some kind. I don't know what kind of plane this is. I don't know what this one is, but it's awful pretty and very patriotic. Here we have <clears throat> even more and evidently a porta potty that's always useful to know where that is there's a stenson i just discovered that's pretty good looking aircraft well that's kind of cool a bat on the tail everybody needs one of those a cessna arabat this might be a marie plane it says caribbean Might be from Barbados. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another patriotically designed or painted something. <laughs> Super Decathlon. Is it a Cessna? One into its designated parking place, I presume. Looks like it has missiles attached. This one, it's got big teeth. It's got big teeth. This one is always one of my favorite ones. It's here almost every time I've been here. And there's some stats on it. I don't know what this is either, but it stands up tall. It's got long legs. It says it's an experimental. 
Who knows? Here's a cute little beastie. I presume it may be an experimental too. I don't know much about the experimental planes. I don't even know why they're experimental. Who knew they had cockpit covers? That's a cool idea there. Here's an army fied one. Army fied. <laughs> I made that word up. <laughs> and it too has the missiles under the wing. But you can't see in the dark. This one says deadly delivery. I'm so afraid. This is where we ate. We ate at Monster Bites. They had fabulous hamburgers and really good, fabulous ribeye po'boys. They just didn't have any black pepper to put on the burgers. That was my only complaint. Because you know I panic without that. One year I brought my dad to the fly-in. My dad was an auto mechanic. And we were walking around looking at the planes and he points at one and he said, I wonder what kind of engine that plane has in it. I said, that has a five-cylinder Kenner engine in it, and my dad nearly dropped dead in his tracks. He stopped and looked at me, and he says, how do you know that? And I said, well, I learned a thing or two from Harmon. And we went and looked, and sure enough, it said Kenner engine, and it had five cylinders. After that, my dad was asking me, well, what kind of engine does that one have in it? And what kind of engine does that one have in it? But that was one of my fondest memories of here, because I won up to my daddy on something mechanical. This is where we are. We're at the Flying Ranch, the Flying V Ranch in Louise, Texas. Here comes the one up to the front door. This is Robbie, he who puts on the, the fly-in.